friends welcome back to my channel my name is ariana elizabeth and today i have an intermediate inversion emphasized class so we'll go ahead and get started in child's pose so coming to our knees spreading them wide to the mat big toes to touch sink your hips back towards your heels extend your fingertips out long in front of you and bring your forehead in contact with the mat Rest your forehead here and take a few deep breaths in through your nose. Open mouth, exhale, sigh it out. Another deep breath in through your nose. And open mouth, exhale, sigh it out. Maybe rock your head side to side here. Massaging your forehead finding stillness the fullness in your breath awareness in any tight spots that your body may be trying to send oxygen to whatever those spots are don't forget to take a nice, full, deep breath in through your nose. Fill up your belly. Open mouth, exhale, sigh it out. Activating our Ujjayi Pranayama breath. Deep breath in through your nose. Seal your lips. Constrict your throat. Ujjayi, exhale, back out through your nose. Continue a few rounds of Ujjayi Pranayama breath on your own. And if you have an intention, I invite you to go ahead and bring it forward now. If you did not bring an intention to class, I would like to lift up and offer my intention of gratitude being grateful to be able to make it to our mats, being grateful to be able to have this time that you can carve out for yourself, holding space for yourself, making yourself a priority. Whatever your intention was, wherever your breath is, go ahead and just take a deep breath in through your nose, fill up your belly, and open mouth, exhale, side out. Begin to walk your fingertips over to the left side, feeling the stretch in your right side body. And then slowly walking your fingertips back through center over to the right side, feeling that stretch in your left side body. Wonderful. Slowly walk your fingertips back through center. And bringing your hands a little closer in, I'm gonna rise up through tabletop, push up through your feet, and extend using your core. Lower your knees back down and back to child's pose. Again, inhale, push up through your core. Bring your knees back down. And back down to child's pose one more time. Just like that, push up through your knees. And back down. And this time, rock up to tabletop, stacking your hips over your knees, shoulders over your wrists, taking a few cat and cow postures. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the gaze. And exhale to cat, dome the spine, drop the crown of the head. Another inhale to cow. And exhale to cat. 
Inhale to cow. Exhale, round the spine to cat. Last time, inhale to cow. And exhale, cat. Come to a neutral spine. Center the left palm to the mat. Inhale, sweep the right arm up towards the ceiling. Spiral the chest open towards the ceiling. Deep breath in here. And exhale, thread the needle on the right side. Bring that right arm through. Rest your head down, shoulder down. Take the left arm up and over the body towards your inner right thigh. And hold and breathe here. Now, know that this bind is an option. You can definitely leave your hand next to your face if you choose. If you do take the bind, use that left hand to pull your chest more open. So you want to inhale to lengthen your spine and then exhale, twist a little deeper. Now slowly release. Press back up with your left palm. Inhale that right arm back up to the ceiling and exhale, bring it down right into the center. Moving to the left hand, inhale your left arm up towards the ceiling. Spiral in your chest, hold and breathe here. Reaching nice and tall. Deep breath in and exhale, thread the needle on the left side. Again, option to keep your hand by your face or lift your right arm up and over your back towards your inner left thigh. And if you do take the bind, you want to inhale to lengthen your spine. And exhale, use your right hand to twist your chest open more towards the ceiling. Inhale to lengthen. And exhale, spiral your chest. Awesome, slowly release. Press back up with your right hand. Inhale, lift your left arm back up to the ceiling and exhale, place it back down. Wonderful. Inhale, curl your toes and exhale, just rock back and forth here. Hovering your knees to the mat, engage your core. Gaze down at your mat. Take a few rocks here. And when you're ready, you can send your hips up and back to downward facing dog. Now you can pedal this downward dog out. Take any organic movements that feel good to you. This may be your first downward dog of the day. Just breathe some some oxygen into your muscles in any tight spots. And when you're ready, moving into a sun A, inhale, gaze forward, and exhale, tiptoe your feet there. And now I'm gonna say, before we move into a sun A, we'll actually take a moment to pause here. Generous bend in your knees, rest your torso over your thighs. Grasp opposite elbows and let your head hang down so low you can look directly behind you in ragdoll. Now you want to let your head hang nice and loose. You don't want to feel any tension in your back, no tension in your neck. You can sway side to side, nod your head yes, shake it no. If it feels comfortable to you, you can straighten your legs here as well. Go ahead and switch out your grip, just switch elbows for balance. When you're ready, slowly release your fingertips down to the mat and roll up with your eyes closed. Head coming absolutely last, nice and slowly, no rush. Hmm, perfect, you can heel toe your feet 
almost together leave a little sliver in between and let's flow our sun a inhale sweep your arms up towards your ears into mountain pose exhale face the palms out forward fold inhale halfway lift hands on your shins thighs or fingertips hovering over the mat nice flat back suck your lower belly up and in deep breath in and exhale Chaturanga Dandasana, high to low plank. Plant your hands, step back. Take your Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog, shine your chest forward. Open mouth, exhale, downward facing dog. Wonderful, another one like that. Inhale, gaze forward and exhale, travel there. Inhale, halfway lift and exhale, forward fold, dive it down. Inhale, mountain pose, sweep your arms up high, and exhale, forward fold, fold it back down, hinge at the hips, inhale, halfway, lift, and exhale, chaturanga dandasana, high to low plank, take your chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog, thighs up off the mat, exhale, downward facing dog. Wonderful. Let's just follow one more. Inhale, gaze forward, and exhale, hop there. Inhale, halfway lift, and exhale, forward fold, dive it down. Inhale, mountain pose, sweep the arms up high, and exhale, forward fold, dive it down. Inhale, halfway lift, and exhale, chaturanga dandasana. High to low plank, take your chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. And open mouth, exhale. Downward facing dog, awesome. Deep breath in through your nose. Open mouth, exhale, sigh it out. Another deep breath in through your nose. Open mouth, exhale, sigh it out. Wonderful, inhale, lift. The right leg high. Exhale, low lunge, step it in between your hands. Setting up for crescent on the right. Inhale, lift your torso up into crescent lunge. And exhale, eagle on the right if you feel comfortable with this. Dropping your right elbow down, left elbow over. Hold and breathe here. Make sure your elbows are lifted up in line with your shoulders and inhale lift your eagle arms up exhale bring them down towards your knee slowly release moving into a an extended side angle pose Hold and breathe here for a moment. Now inhale, reverse warrior. Sweep your right arm up and over. Little to no weight on your back left hand. And exhale, cartwheel your hands down. Take your chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Open up, exhale. Downward facing dog. Awesome job, you guys. Inhale, lift your left heel towards the ceiling. Exhale, low lunge, step it in between your hands, setting up for crescent on the left. Inhale, to crescent lunge on the left. And exhale, eagle on the left. Drop your left elbow under, right arm over. Interlace, hold and breathe here for just a moment. Inhale, reach your eagle arms up. And exhale, bring them down towards the knee. Slowly releasing, moving into that extended side angle on the left. Hold and breathe here. And getting ready, inhale, reverse warrior. Little to no weight on the back right hand. Don't forget the bend in the front left leg. Exhale, chaturanga dandasana, high to low plank, take 
your chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Open up, exhale, downward facing dog. Awesome job, let's pull that one more time. Breath to movement, inhale, send the right heel up towards the ceiling. Exhale, low lunge. Step it in between your hands, inhale up to crescent. And exhale, eagle. Inhale, reverse that eagle. And exhale, bring it down towards the knee. Slowly releasing, inhale to extended side angle. Hold and breathe here. Inhale, reverse warrior. And exhale, chaturanga dandasana, high level plank. Take your chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Shine your chest forward. Open up, exhale, downward facing dog. Wonderful job. Inhale, lift the left heel. Exhale, low lunge. Step it between your hands. Inhale up to crescent. And exhale, eagle on the left. Inhale, lift that ankle. And exhale, bring it down with control. Slowly releasing. Inhale to that extended side angle. Hold and breathe here. Now inhale, reverse warrior. And exhale, chaturanga dandasana, high to low plank. Inhale, upward facing dog. Open up, exhale, downward facing dog. Awesome, deep breath in through your nose. Open mouth, exhale, side out. <sighs> Wonderful. Slowly making your way into a headstand from here. Lower your forearms down. Interlacing your fingers. Bring your head right in that little niche. And slowly walk your feet up. Now if you want to take one foot at a time, you may do that or you can press it up. And just breathe here for a moment. Remember, engage your core. When you're ready, slowly, with control, come back down. Come to your knees and make your way to child's pose immediately. Give your body time to rest here for a moment. Deep breaths in through your nose. Open mouth exhales. Again, deep breaths in through your nose. Release the heat. Open mouth exhale. when you're ready you can slowly rock back through tabletop inhale curl the toes exhale send your heels up and back to downward facing dog and we'll take a few hops into a yogi squat from here so bending the knees and hopping up feet outside of your wrists hopping back into a nice steady firm plank pose and jumping back and back into plank. Let's do three more. job. This time, send your hips up and back to downward facing dog. Inhale, gaze forward. And exhale, slowly bending your chaturanga arms, 
tiptoe your feet, setting up for crow. Come up to your toes. Try and get your knees as close to your armpits as possible. Note that it may take a few trials to get there. Spread your fingertips wide. Grip the mat, gaze directly in front of you, not back, otherwise you'll tiptoe that way. And right here actually is crow pose. Engage your core. If you want to lift up maybe one foot, maybe the other, maybe both, to fly your crow. Engage your core. Keep that gaze strong. Chaturanga arms real strong. You got this. Breathe in it. And slowly come back down. Straighten your legs out. And take a forward fold. Wonderful. He'll toe your feet together, almost a touch, but leave a little sliver in between. And slowly bend your knees. Actually, he'll toe your feet out slightly to hips with distance. Moving into gorilla pose. Take a generous bend in your knees. Lift your left sole of your foot up. And then the right, slide your hands underneath so far that you can pretty much give your, your wrist a massage. Drop the head down. And you can send weight into the toes here, or you can just stay still. If you would like a little deeper stretch, begin to straighten the knees out. Again, just like ragdoll pose, no weight in the head. If you're still looking for a little bit more of an intense stretch, you can begin to bend the elbows, pulling the chest towards the thighs. Remember, wherever you are is totally fine. Everyone's practice is beautiful, just right in where it is. When you're ready, bend the knees if you straighten them. Slowly release your palms. Heel toe your feet together almost a touch with a sliver in between. And inhale, sweep your arms up, sitting nice and low into chair pose. Wonderful, you wanna lengthen the spine towards your heels. Send your gaze forward. See if you can lift up all 10 toes off the mat. Really engage those thighs. You can push them together if that feels more comfortable. Sit a little lower, I know you can. Awesome. You're only here for a few more breaths. You got this. Shaking is good. Deep breath in. And exhale, forward fold, dive it down. Wonderful. Inhale, one more time to chair. And exhale, forward fold, dive it down. Wonderful. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Hi to low plank. Inhale, upward facing dog. Open mouth, exhale. Downward facing dog, wonderful. Inhale, gaze forward and exhale. Come down to your knees. Come to sitting on your backs. Moving into a cool down. Lay down on your back. Feet together to touch in Sukta Baddha Konasana. One hand on your belly. One hand on your chest. Feeling your heartbeat begin to slow. A few breaths here. Letting gravity do the work on your inner thighs and on your hips. Taking your hands, closing your knees together like a book. Inhale, lift both knees up, squeeze them nice and tight. You can maybe rock side to side here. And stamp your feet on the ceiling. Moving into happy baby, you can take your peace fingers to hold on to your big toes. 
You can hold on to the outer edges or the inner arches of your feet, wherever you choose. Just let your knees come in towards your ribs and you can either rock side to side here, giving yourself a nice spine massage. Or you can stay perfectly still, which is just as fine. Maybe stretch your right leg out. Maybe the left. You might notice a little less tension here now that the body is warmed up. Bring the knees back in together. Hold on to the right knee. Let the left leg go out long, moving into supine. Inhale. Squeeze the right knee up towards the armpit and exhale using your left hand. Draw your right knee over your left side body, letting your arm go out long, gazing over your right shoulder. Again, the goal is not to get your knee to the floor, but to just enjoy the twist and to keep the right shoulder blade as close to the ground as possible. <laughs> few breaths here. Again, you can take as much time as you'd like. If you'd like to take a little more time in this, you can just feel free to pause the video. If you're ready to move on, bring the knees back to the center. Hold on to your left knee. Let the right leg go out long. Deep breath in. Draw the left knee up towards the armpit. And exhale using the right hand. Draw the right knee over your right side. The left knee, namaste, over your right side body. And let your left arm go out long, gazing over your left shoulder. A few breaths here. Slowly bringing the knees back in the center, squeezing into the tiniest little ball you've taken all class, forehead to knees. One last sip of air, and exhale, final Shavasana, rest it all the way out, let your feet fall where they may. Palms facing up, relax your shoulder blades down. Relax your fingers, no tension. Remove your tongue from the roof of your mouth, part your teeth, but keep your lips sealed so we can fully relax our jaw. Remove that frown from the inner brow. Let the tongue slowly fall back towards the throat. Feel the weight of your body on your mat. Imagine it just sinking down into your mat. And if you have time, you can always stay in Shavasana for as long as, as time permits. But if you're ready 
to move on with your day, slowly start with your breath. Deep breath in through your nose. Open mouth, exhale. Begin to wiggle your fingertips and your toes, slowly waking your body up. Maybe rolling your wrists, rolling your ankles. Extend your arms long. Take a full body stretch here. Maybe point and flex your toes. And roll over in fetal pose. Whichever side feels more comfortable to you. Using your bicep as a pillow. In fetal pose represents the rebirth from our mat to our daily practice. So you want to make that transition slow and comfortable. And when you're ready, you can slowly press up with your palm. Eyes closed, come to a comfortable seat. You can place your palms down, place them up. Find that length in your spine, reaching the crown. The yogi friend, teacher, student, and me honors and appreciates and recognizes all the yogis, teachers, friends, and students, and all of you. I pray you have a blessed day. God bless. You can bring your hands to your forehead to remind yourself of good thoughts. You can bring your hands to your lips to remind yourself of kind words to others, and even more importantly, yourself. And then bring your hands to your heart to remind yourself that you are loved and you are love. You can flood your eyes open. Thank you so much again, friends. I appreciate so much of the support. I hope you enjoyed this class. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. You can comment below. Let me know if there's anything I can improve on, anything you'd like to see, or if you loved it. Um, I'll see you in my next video. Okay, bye.